guys, so today we will do an unboxing of the tool that arrived in this um, sturdy box, <laughs> as you can see. It came all the way from USA, so I think it was about two weeks, which I think it's brilliant time. All right, so let's see what's inside then. Okay, so here we have the instruction with all necessary information and instruction how to set it up, of course, tips and tricks and how to care for your uh, rolling mill. So all the information is here and of course if you have any questions or need any assistance you can find all information about the brand over here so you can contact them via social media or via website or send them an email and also remember that I have a YouTube channel so you can also just watch the videos um, that they prepared for us and I will obviously link them in the description box below okay let's have a look inside so as you can see, it's really nicely packaged here. There's a handle and here's the main part. And you need to remember that this is very heavy. Mine is 130 mil and this one is about 23, 24 kilograms. So you need to be very careful when opening this. So let's take out the handle first. There we go. That's it, that's how it looks like, wooden here. And then the main part. It might look like it's very easy to do, but there are a few things that you have to remember. First, you need to remove these cardboard pieces first because they are actually in the way. So let's take that out and then take the other one out. And in the bottom, you will notice that the mill is mounted so it doesn't move around in the box. So you have to take it out with the bottom piece over there. I'll show you how to do it because there is another important thing you have to consider. So this bit over here is actually not a handle, even though it looks like one. So <laughs> the first thing that you want to do is probably just to hold it and take it out of the box. But don't do it because this is a very important part and you might damage your tool. So what you want to do instead is take off the foil and then grab it from down below there. This is the best part to hold and take the tool out. But remember when I told you that it's actually mounted down below. So if you don't have anyone with you to help you to take it out, so for example, take it out and remove the box and you have to do it yourself, here's another way to do it. Now I'll show you how to take it out of the box. And I've actually put my shoes on because if anything falls on my feet, I just wouldn't want to lose a toe. So I would recommend you do the same. Let's take it out of the box then. So if you hold it down below there, you can just take it out if you're strong enough or if you have someone to help you, they could take it out um, and you could move the box or you can take it out yourself and move the box away. But if you are not strong enough to do that, there's another way to do it and I'll show you now. You could put it gently down and then take it out like this and move the box away and put it up. Easy as that. <laughs> The reason I'm doing this all on the floor is also because this is very heavy. So it might be quite dangerous to do it on the table if you don't have a strong, solid wooden bench and someone to help you. So the best would be to unpack it on the floor, 
that you're not risking it falling down. <laughs> so the next part will be to remove it from the cardboard box and remove all the foil and prepare it for work. It is super important to place your rolling mill onto a secure, solid surface um, for the safety, of course. It's a very heavy tool, as I mentioned before, and it's important that it's not moving around, it won't fall down, it has to be secured. So that's why it has these holes here to bolt it down. At the moment, as I mentioned, it's bolted to the cardboard box. I, when I remove it, I will be able to secure it to the surface here. So right now I'm just gonna remove these. And again, by holding here and lifting the tool, I will be able to take it. There we go. And I'm going to keep these. <laughs> now I need to attach the handle and for that I'm gonna use these little bits that were inside. When you look at the handle, you'll see that there's a little keyway here and we're gonna have to fix it on that. So that's what we are gonna use to secure the handle on here. We're gonna have to align it and then slide it on and then gonna use the hex key to screw it on. There we go. Before you start using your rolling mill and prepare it further, you're gonna have to drill some holes in your bench and bolt it down for safety. Now all we gotta do is to remove the foil that's protecting the main part over here. I have loosened up by using the top part here, which is used to adjust these parts here. So I've loosened it up and now I can remove the foil without any problems. And there we go. You'll notice that there's some protective grease here. So don't worry, just clean it off and your machine is ready to use. And there you go, this is the unboxing video. Stay tuned for part two, in which I will show you how to use it and I will share my review with you. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and see you again soon.